Hi everyone, welcome to Python Osmosis, episode 27, the screencast that searches through your modular path to Python Zen. I'm Ryan Shea, and in this episode we will be talking about modules as scripts and the module search path. So in the last episode we created a fibo.py file, and that was for using as a module. So in here we had two different definitions of the Fibonacci sequence, one that returned a list and the other that just printed out, but this script didn't actually do anything. If we run it directly, nothing happens. So let's say we'd like to take this script and make it so that if we run fibo.py100, it actually just prints out the Fibonacci sequence up to 100. And the way that we're going to do that is using a variable called underscore underscore name. Let's take a look by hopping into IPython. Now there's always an underscore underscore name variable. And you can access that just by typing underscore underscore name underscore underscore. And in this case, when you access something directly, whether it be the interactive interpreter or if you're running a script on the command line, main, the string, underscore underscore main underscore underscore is always going to be the name of your underscore underscore name variable. Now, if we do import fibo, and we do fibo dot underscore underscore name, the name is actually the base name of the module that we just imported. So it depends if you are accessing the script or interactive interpreter directly, or if you're pulling it in as a module. So we can use this to our advantage to make fibo both a command line tool and a module. And the way that we're going to do this is by saying if underscore underscore name, just put a condition in here, equals equals main. In other words, if we're running this directly. You'll see this a lot in Python. I'm going to import the sys module because there is a function in there called argv that's going to give me a list of what was typed on the command line. And I'm going to send what was sent to me on the command line into the fib function. Although first I'm going to force that string to be an integer using int. But sys.argv gives me a list. And I'm going to do the second item, number one, is, is going to be what was sent on the command line. OK? So now this basically says, if I run this directly, import the sys module pull in what was typed on the command line, and send it off to fib. And if you recall, fib is the function that actually did the print, not returning a result. So let's take a look. fibo.py100. And yes, indeed, our Fibonacci sequence up to 100 is printed out right on the command line. Now, we can still use this as a module. OK? Import fibo. And notice nothing happened. Nothing, it wasn't looking for an argv, nothing was printed out to the screen, and we can still continue to use this fibo.fib50 as we would a normal module. Now you may be wondering, when I type import fibo as I just did, how Python knows where to look for fibo.py. So here's how Python determines it. First, it looks for fibo.py in the local directory. In this case, it found it. If that didn't happen, Python will look in the environment variable, Python path. And in this case, we don't have Python path set, but it will have a syntax very similar, actually the same, as your system path. So you can just create a Python path environment variable and put in some directories where you have modules you'd like Python to search for. Now, if the module was not found in the local directory, if you didn't have a Python path or it wasn't found within the Python path, uh, Python's going to look in a location sys.path. Okay, and sys.path gives us the search order where it's going to look for packages or modules. That's how Python imports and finds what it's looking for. That's all for now. This screencast is directly inspired by the official Python tutorial by Guido Van Rossum at python.org.